Welcome to Columbia Seminary's service of lessons and carols. As we anticipate God's word to us this year through scripture and song, we journey from Advent expectation to Christmas celebration in a single hour. We cry out for God to come to us, and we discover the God who is already with us, who chose and chooses the most unlikely times and places to be born. We sing to the one who asks us again to imagine what God's coming means for us and for our earthly home. Let us join hearts and voices across the many different spaces, times, and challenging circumstances from which we gather. Let us make room again for this God who is coming to us and who is already here. Come, Holy One, awaken us, disturb us, comfort us, and bring joy to the world as you sing through us. O oh, wisdom, coming forth from the mouth of the Most High, pervading and permeating all creation, you order all things with strength and gentleness. Come, Lord Jesus. O oh, root of Jesse, rising as a sign for all the people, before you, earthly rulers will keep silent. Come quickly to deliver us. Come, Lord Jesus. O key of David, scepter over the house of Israel. You open and no one can close. You close and no one can open. Come to set the prisoners free. Come, Lord Jesus. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, sun of justice, come shine on those who live in the shadow of death. Come, Lord Jesus. God of grace, ever faithful to your promises, the earth rejoices in the hope of our Savior's coming and looks forward with longing to Christ's return in the fullness of time. Prepare our hearts to receive the one who comes. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. Therefore, says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer, or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his day Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God.
reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 1 through 11. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from love's hand double all her sins. A voice cries out. In the wilderness, prepare the way of love. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of love shall be revealed and all people shall see it together for the mouth of love has spoken it. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of love blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God, See, God comes with might, and God's arm rules for God. God's reward is with God, and God's recompense before God. God will feed God's flock like a shepherd. God will gather the lambs in God's arms and carry them in God's bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God.
from the book of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you. The young camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. Beloved in Christ, let us pray. God who knows our yearning, in the darkness of the virgin's womb, the holy child grows. In the darkness of the world's pain, the blessed light begins to kindle. In the darkness of our own doubting of you and ourselves, the great hope begins to rise again like stars in the night. The hope that you will come to us truly that the child will be born again in our midst, the Prince of Peace in a world at war. The hope that you will redeem us and our world from the evil that seeks to destroy us. O oh Lord, gift of new life, new light, open our eyes to see your glory in the coming again of light each day. Open our ears to hear the angels hymn in the stirring within us of joy at the coming of the child. Open our hearts to the transforming power of your love as it comes to us through all who hold us dear. Be born among us that we ourselves may be born. Be born within us that by words and deeds of love we may bear the tidings of birth to a world that is dying for lack of love. We ask it in the child's name. Amen.
A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah and the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. from the Gospel of Luke. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observe his star at his rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. 
and calling together of the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, bring me word, so that I may go also and worship and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that had been seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child which Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left their own country by another road. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. This is the reading from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through God, and without God, not one being came into being. What has come into being in the world was life, and the life was the light of the all people. The light shines in the night, and the night did not overcome it. There was one sent from God, whose name was John. John came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. The world was in the world, was in the world. And the world came into being through this world. Yet the world did not know this world. Christ came to those who were Christ's own. And Christ's own people did not accept the world. But to all who received the one who believed in this name, the world gave power to become children of God, who were born not to blood of or of the will of the flesh, or of human will, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen this glory, the glory as of God's only child, full of grace and truth. Holy wisdom, holy world. Thanks be to God. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Holy Spirit, Simeon came into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory to your people, Israel. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks 
be to God. Thank you so much for joining us in our annual Lessons and Carols worship experience. We hope that something that was presented today touched your heart. And even though we are in a virtual space now, I send you forth in this season of Advent in hope, in peace, in joy, and in love. And to you now, my dear friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May God cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen.